for us, and we were going through a lot of adversity. I'm sure the guys that were checking the depth charts probably saw a couple names that you hadn't seen in a while, and uh, that's what's so encouraging is some guys coming out there and, and playing meaningful reps when you know they had at the beginning of the year probably even counted on doing other things and playing on the scout team. And uh, it's a big, big win for us. Uh, it's going to be important we stay focused. Uh, but I uh, can't say enough for the effort of our players and our coaches. Craig, at this point, I mean, this has to be one of the most complete games you've, you've, your team has put together from start to finish. Well, it certainly has been. And, you know, uh, while the score has not indicated it lately, we've been getting better in practice. And, uh, you know, you're waiting for a, a game that you're going to have a breakout game. And I know Fresno's, uh, you know, a very competitive football team to come on the road. I, I believe they've been 15-1 and one, uh, under Coach DeRuiter here. And so it's a tough place to play. And uh, we certainly played well tonight. Coach, just what can you even say about Brian Hill in that game? Well, Brian is a uh, pretty exceptional player. And he's been, uh, you know, very diligent. Uh, you know, I thought our offensive line did a nice job. But certainly Brian had some, some uh, great breakout runs. And, you know, uh, his numbers and those are pretty phenomenal and I don't know if we've had any performance like that for quite some time. Greg with your defense you have another makeshift thing I know you didn't have Riley in this game and no. got, like you said guys starting and playing that you haven't tabbed in a lot I mean. You know, like Seth the Dean. Right mm -hmm. it's uh talk about the way they played and where did you think the key was was it up front with the with the pressure or where did you think the defense really excelled tonight? Well it was going to be important with a, uh, a new quarterback for us to be able to neutralize the running game. They had done a good job against some other people running the football and, and uh, many times uh, you know we were able to force them in third down and long situations and that allowed us to do some special things and, and then I thought you know coverage wise well we did some good things tonight uh, there was a couple uh, passes that they had completed, but outside of that, I think all of the throws had been challenged, and I thought our defensive line did a good job of putting some pressure on them with just some four man pressure. Coach, with all those points, you know, in the second half against CSU and then continuing the offensive momentum in this game, do you feel like things are kind of trending the way that you want them to as far as the offense goes? Well, they certainly are the last two games. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be important that we continue and, and don't. Uh, maybe look at our numbers so much, but look at how we're getting those numbers, and we'll continue to do that. Um, you know, we were down running backs as well. If you look down that depth chart, there are guys playing tonight that had not played a lot beyond uh, Brian, and we rode him hard. I guess, too, Greg, you mentioned you want to stay focused, but it's got to feel good in that locker room for those guys to snap that losing streak and just get a good win like this. It has been a long time since we sang our song, and uh, it's great to do. And uh, the winning certainly helps. And, you know, the, these guys, and particularly the seniors, have, you know, they've not doubted in the system, even though we were in some choppy water, and it was good to come out and get, a, 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 I think, a great win tonight.